So today I am going to be taking a little look at the American Girl um, Ultimate Visual Guide Celebration of the American Girl Story Expanded Edition. This was published in 2016, so it's kind of old, so the newest girl view is Leah. So some of the pages you're probably like, why is it Luciana or Blair or Joss or Gabriella in there? And it's because they weren't a thing when this was published. So yeah, that's a little heads up. But the cover is really pretty. There was um another cover, but I took it off because it was also a poster. So I'm gonna show you that in a bit. Um, so if we look, here is the table of contents. We have a picture of Leah and Samantha, and then all of the contents. And then here's the foreword. And then meeting American Girl. So a little bit about American Girl. And then the stories and style, about designing them. And this whole section is about creating Kaya because she's such a special, special doll. And if you can see um, her face mold, she doesn't have her teeth showing because it's supposed to make her seem like she's brave and kind and stuff I don't really know um and then this is about the packaging this packaging is so different guys look this is the first one and then the second one and then the third one and then this is what it looks like now it's so different and then here are the truly me and B. this is all the stuff right now yeah um and then a bit about the doll hospital and then we also have 30 years of American Girl. So a little celebration about American Girl. And then there's some stuff about, random stuff about American Girl. And then the dolls too. There's two pages of that. Okay, now we're getting into the Be Forever section. So that's where all the historical dolls are. And these are all of them right here. Um, Nenea isn't in here because she came out in 2017. So she wasn't a thing, obviously. Well, she probably was, but not to the public. Um, so let's take a look at that. The first one is Kaya. So this is a bit about Kaya. An adult self. And then there's some pictures about her. And the next one is Felicity. And then her friend, Elizabeth Cole. She only has one page though, because she's a friend. They used to come out with friends for the dolls, like when they had a new story or whatever. And I thought that was really cool. Like Krissa, she had two friends and they sold them. But I don't really know why they stopped because it was like really cool. Okay, anyways, this is Caroline. Her boat is so pretty. I just can't get over that. <laughs> and then here is Josefina. A little bit about her. Um, Mary Grace and Cecile, they're from New Orleans. And I forgot to mention this earlier, but on all of the dolls, there's a little bio about them, which is cool. It tells them tells us their name, their birth year, so the year they were born, their hometown, biggest dream, and their family. <clears throat> Here's a little bit about them. This is Kirsten. She also has her bio. And then here's Addie. Cute. Samantha, I think it's hilarious because Samantha used to have the biggest collection. And it was so cute because she had like an ice cream parlor and a school set and a gorgeous bed. She actually had two, a brass bed and then that pink one. And I just loved it so much. And then now she, they only sell the doll in the book and the accessories, I think, yeah. But the accessories are different now and they're not as good in my opinion. <laughs> Um, there this and then a locket that doesn't open for some reason. 
Um, oh yeah, she, that's the ice cream parlor, and then she also had this garden gazebo, which is, I wish they sold, still sold this. Oh, and then here's Nellie. Nellie was Samantha's friend, if you read her story, you'll know a bit about them. And so she only has one page. Um, here's Rebecca, Rebecca Rubin. A little bit about her and her story. Here's Kit. Oh, her treehouse was so cool. It was like so big. Like, look how big that is, guys. <laughs> oh, I just ripped part of the page. Don't mind that. This is Ruthie, which is um, Kit's best friend. Molly, Molly McIntyre. And then her friend, Emily Bennett. Here is Mary Ellen. Melody. Here's Julie, Julie Albright, and her friend Ivy Ling. Then this is about the set, so super sets. This was the biggest kids tree house. Um, the smallest was Rebecca's rabbit pin. Um, the most items was Molly's hair collection or hair curl kit. And then the first pets and the Kirsten's cats and then Molly's dog. And then the biggest collection was Samantha's. And now she has one of the smallest. Now we're moving on to the girl of the year section. So. As I said before, Leah is the last one. That's why no one else is there. Um, so yeah. The first girl of the year was Lindsay. Lindsay Bergman. And then there is Kaylee. And then Marisol Luna. Okay, so something really funny. If you look at it, when they first started Girl of the Years, it was every other year. So 2001. 2003, 2005, and then um, they realized it was so popular, so they just did it every year. So now it's 2006. Jess, I have Jess and Nikki, and McKenna, and Isabel, and Joss, and Leah. So, if you were wondering. <laughs> um, Yeah, so there's Nikki's. Mia. Krissa. So, as I said before, Krissa has two other friends. So, here they have um, about her friends. So, so um, Sonali. I think that's how you say it. Sonali and then Gwen. Lainey, Kanani, McKenna, Sage, Isabel, Grace, And Leah. And then here are about the um, girl of the year set. So this was the biggest, the tallest, the smallest, the working pieces. Yeah. And then now we're going to the Truly Me. And you're probably like, how did they do that? But they just had all the Truly Me dolls and a bunch of other stuff, sports, activities. Yeah, Let's skip a bunch. <laughs> and then here is about the team and their favorite doll. And then a little table of contents, I guess, or not that, just questions and stuff. And then a little sticker pop-up, um, press out, pets and accessories, which I haven't opened yet. 
So yeah, and this is the back. 